Google signs Mao with Telangana government. Google has signed and Mao with the Telangana government to bring benefits of digital economy to youth and women entrepreneurs. Google will extend scholarships for Google career certificates to Telangana or S youth and strengthen the government or S school modernization efforts. It will also support the Telangana government or S efforts to improve public transportation. Mail GE Power Conversion Inc. Pack to develop a system for Navy. Bharat Heavy Electricals ETD Mail has inked a pact with GE Power Conversion for the development of integrated electric propulsion systems for the Indian Navy. GE Power Conversion is a world leader in electric propulsion, with equipment installed on some of the latest platforms of the US Navy and the Royal Navy. Mail, GE Power Conversion Inc. Pack to develop a system for Navy. Bharat Heavy Electricals ETD Mail has inked a pact with GE Power Conversion for the development of integrated electric propulsion systems for the Indian Navy. GE Power Conversion is a world leader in electric propulsion, with equipment installed on some of the latest platforms of the US Navy and the Royal Navy, including the Queen Elizabeth class of aircraft carriers. World Bank approves $47 month for India's Mission Karmayogi program. The World Bank has approved a US$47 million United States dollars project to support the government of India or S Mission Karmayogi. Mission Karmayogi is a national program to build civil service capacity. The financing will focus on three components the development and implementation of competency frameworks, the development of an integrated learning platform, and program monitoring, evaluation, and management. SATCOM Industry Association signs pact with TSDSI. SATCOM Industry Association, SIA India, has entered into a pact with Telecommunications Standards Development Society, India TSDSI. It is for cooperation in the development of standards in India and international standards developing organizations. SIA India represents satellite operators, satellite-based service providers, satellite systems, launch vehicles, etc. Netflix and Ministry collaborate for video series. Information and Broadcasting Ministry has announced its collaboration with OTT platform Netflix. It will launch a short video series documenting the lives of or el quo, women change makers or RDQO, who have broken the glass ceiling in different fields. By Independence Day 2022, Netflix will release around 30 videos for the ministry that will showcase the or el quo, extraordinary lives or RDQO, of or el quo, women change makers or RDQO. Former women's hockey team captain Elvera Brito passes away. Former Indian women or S hockey team captain Elvera Brito passed away in April 2022. Elvera ruled the domestic circuit from 1962-1967, guiding Karnataka to seven national titles. She represented India against Australia, Sri Lanka and Japan. In 1965, Elvera became only the second woman hockey player to be conferred with the Arjuna Award after Annie Lumsden, 1961. Mandate Document of National Curriculum Framework NCF to be launched. Union Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan will be launching the Mandate Document of the National Curriculum Framework NCF on 29 April 2022. The mandate document describes the development process of the NCF, its expected structure and objectives. The NCF has been drafted through a collaborative and consultative process, starting from district to state level and then national level. Former SBI Chairman Rajanish Kumar joins Indify Technologies as advisor. Indify Technologies has announced the appointment of Rajanish Kumar former chairman of the State Bank of India, SBI, as an advisor. He will engage with the management on the company's growth strategy and provide guidance in the financial services sector. He currently sits on the boards of HSBC Asia Pacific, Infotech, Hero Moto Corp and Bharat Pay. Bharati Airtel partners Apollo Hospitals, Cisco to create 5G Connected. Bharati Airtel has partnered with Apollo Hospitals and Cisco to create a 5G-connected ambulance. 
It will be equipped with the latest medical equipment, patient monitoring applications, and telemetry devices that transmit the patient or S health data to the hospital in real time. When a critical patient is en route to the hospital, the 5G connected ambulance acts as an extension of emergency room. EMS Jayashankar embarks on three day visit to Bangladesh, Bhutan. External Affairs Minister S. Jayashankar embarked on a three day visit to Bangladesh and Bhutan from 28 April 2022. In Bangladesh, Dr. Jayashankar will call on Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in Dhaka. He will also hold discussions with Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momin. His last visit to Bangladesh was in March 2021. He will be Bhutan or as first high-level visitor from abroad since March 2020. World Day for Safety and Health at Work, the 28th of April. World Day for Safety and Health at Work is observed on the 28th of April every year. The day promotes the prevention of occupational accidents and diseases globally. It also focuses on enhancing social dialogue towards a culture of safety and health. The theme for 2022 is Oral Quo, Act Together to Build a Positive Health and Safety Culture or RDQ. Russia stripped of 2023 World Ice Hockey Championship. The 2023 Ice Hockey World Championship will be moved from Russia. This was informed by the International Ice Hockey Federation, IIHF. The federation had already stripped Russia of the Junior World Championship for the same reason. The tournament was awarded to Russia in 2018 and was due to be held from May 5 to 21, 2023 in St. Petersburg. India launches Digital India Risk V, Dirvi program. Rajiv Chandrasekhar announced Digital India Risk V microprocessor, Dirvi program on 27 April 2022. It has been launched with an overall aim to enable the creation of microprocessors for the future in India. There we will see partnerships between startups, academia, and multinationals to make India not only a risky talent hub for the world but also supplier of risky soap system on chips. Cabinet approves continuation of PM Swanidhi till December 2024. Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has approved the continuation of lending under the PM Street Vendors Atmanirbhar Nidhi beyond March 2022 to December 2024. Through the scheme, affordable collateral free loans are being facilitated to street vendors. The approval has increased the loan amount to 8,100 crore rupees, thereby providing the street vendors working capital to further expand their business. Narayan Rain inaugurates Enterprise India. Union Minister for MSME Narayan Rain inaugurated the ministry's month-long mega event or Elkwo, Enterprise India or RDQO, under the celebrations of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, on 27 April 2022. It will promote entrepreneurship culture and create awareness about the schemes and initiatives of the Ministry of MSME. Some of the key activities include conferences with industry associations, ETC. Cabinet approves signing of Mao between India and Chile. The Union Cabinet has approved the signing of an Mao between India and Chile for cooperation in the disability sector. Mao provides the mechanism for funding to cover expenses for the activities under it. The expenses for such activities will be mutually decided by both the government on a case-to-case -case basis subject to the availability of funds and resources. Center approves 61,000 crore rupees phosphate-based fertilizer subsidy. Cabinet has approved nearly 61,000 crore rupees subsidy for phosphate-based fertilizer for the upcoming Kharif season. This is a part of its efforts to provide soil nutrients to farmers at an affordable price. The subsidy approved includes support for indigenous fertilizer SSP through freight subsidy and additional support for indigenous manufacturing and imports of the ammonium phosphate DAP. Unvision Energy awarded 2000 MW wind turbine contract in India. Unvision Energy has been awarded a 2000 MW wind turbine order in India.
The 596 wind turbines, all manufactured in Envision's India factory, will be delivered by the end of 2023. Envision will supply and commission its CN156 3.3 wind turbines for the projects. N156 thirds.3 has a 156 meters rotor the largest in the country. This rotor is coupled with a 3.3 megawatts generator and a hub height of 140 meters. CCA approves 540 megawatts hydroelectric project on Chenab River in the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has approved the 540 megawatt MW Quar hydroelectric project located on River Chenab in the Kishtwar district of Jammu and Kashmir. It will have an investment of RS. 4,526.12 crores. The project will be implemented by Chenab Valley Power Projects Private Limited CVPPPL. It will generate 1,975.54 million units in a 90% dependable year. ONGC ties up with Norway's Equinor for clean energy. Oil and Natural Gas Corporation, ONGC, has signed an MAU with Equina ASA, the Norwegian state-owned multinational energy company. It has been signed for collaboration in areas of upstream exploration and production, midstream, downstream and clean energy options. The MAU is valid for two years under which both companies have agreed to work together in the areas identified. Maruti Suzuki joins hands.